most of the people I come across sort of have not necessarily the same political views, but um, have very common goals for the politics of our country. And yet our leadership over the last, particularly last decade at least, just seem very out of touch with most people. They hear all the noise on the edges, but they don't hear most of us in the middle who just really want to see each other do well and thrive. And to me, it seems like it's a lot about power, personal power and political power, as opposed to the welfare of our country, which I consider a, a group of communities. I mean, we're, that's, we all live in our own community, but together we, we, we become the country. And our leadership just doesn't seem to get that anymore. I honestly think that they would rather have us just spend most of our time arguing over uh, small ideological beliefs that have nothing to do with what it is that helps anybody. Before the 24-hour news cycle, Politics was a sideline to our lives. I mean, we lived, you know, in our communities. We worked in our communities. We knew our neighbors. We, that's where our lives were. And the, uh, it's not to blame the 24 news cycle, but it is to say that that may, gave access to uh, a, a breed of politician that is almost more celebrity than public servant. Like you said, politics does not determine what kind of person you are for me because. Mm -hmm. Once we have these discussions, I find that we have a lot of things in common. We almost define ourselves politically rather than as people, you know, and, and that gets in the way because we're not going to, I mean, the, our founders, nobody, you just, that, that's a give and take, but, but in terms of just being people who, who wish each other well and want to help each other do well and a and celebrate victories, but also care for each other in trials, not on the political spectrum these days, which is really sad. I don't know if everybody just wants to talk over each other, but, you know, it, there seems to be a clear reason why we have two ears on our bodies and one mouth. I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> that you're taking in more information than what you're actually putting out. And mm -hmm. I agree. It would almost seem as though some some people just hear the information and then they are immediately quick to point out the thing that they don't like in what you said, as opposed to even trying to digest the information. Exactly. And, you know, see where we have commonalities. Yeah. I don't truly find myself in either the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. Mm -hmm. uh, I just teen, I just tend to lean a little bit more democratic whenever uh, they make their small-minded arguments. And my personal opinion of where I, what I think we should be, um, I just think that we've fallen astray from it. I don't believe that we should have billionaires in the same city that we have people that are on the street and homeless. Um, Savannah has a very visible homeless. We have a young man at a particular location that I drive by a lot, and he lives there. I mean, he just lives there on the side of the road and it's it's terrible i i have a strong passion for the future um i think a lot of kids aren't necessarily heard or aren't really given the chance to have a voice and communicate what it is that they would like to do, to have people know about them or you know to excel at and i would like a chance to be the person Who's pushing other people and letting them know, hey, you can you can achieve that. That's it seems difficult, but all you have in this life is time.